Hello everyone, this is Jeff, your humble narrator. A couple years ago I posted some videos where we took a drop of gallium and put it on the tip of a 22 bullet. Ever since then, people want us to scale it up and put it on the tip of a shotgun slug. But we're going to go one step further and make a solid gallium slug. I'll be using a rubberized mold, I can't remember what it's made of, that Peter Brown made for me. And he sent with me along with his wood and resin slugs. I really couldn't have done this without that mold, so thank you, Peter. Then I took my Patreon funds that people have generously donated and bought 200 grams of gallium. Again, thank you, Patreon supporters. Otherwise, we couldn't have done this. All I did was fill up the mold, make sure there was no air pockets, no bubbles or anything like that in there, and just put it in a bath of ice water. That's all I did, and it solidified. It took a while for it to solidify, maybe about half an hour to 45 minutes. The first one came out okay looking. The other ones came out much nicer than this, but this just shows you how how it looks at coming out of the mold. A couple little voids in there. Probably have to redo this one just so it is more balanced and looks a little better. Now, gallium is pretty brittle, and I'm thinking maybe these things will shatter when I shoot them. But in case they don't, I'll put some little markings on there so we can see if they're rotating and check the orientation during flight. And just in case that doesn't work, I'm going to make some using an aluminum pellet with a big cavity in there. The gallium will expand as it cools off and solidifies and lock itself into that. And because I solidified it real fast, it didn't have time to react with that aluminum. So let's load these up into a 12 gauge shotgun shell and see what happens. Greetings, fellow nerds. <laughs> Let me show you its features. Okay. Today we're going to be shooting a solid gallium 12-gauge slug. First invented by Ernest and Julio Gallo. <laughs> from the wineries of California. As the British say, the gallinium. Galluminium. <laughs> First target is a level 0A aluminum foil body armor panel. <laughs> It works, didn't shatter. Looks like Jiffy Pop. Wow. I gave these slugs about a 50% chance of shattering when we shot them. I gave them about a 20% chance of being accurate. Not only did they not shatter, but it was incredibly accurate. This was at about 30 yards away, and he hit that little black mark at the center of our aluminum foil body armor there. But he is wearing a Kevlar vest underneath, just in case. So you hit it right, right on the black mark. Man, poor look Doug. at the best. Yeah, poor Doug. Okay, let's, Doug's got a little hernia in there. You let's pull the shirt it. off or pull it up. Look at that, how shiny that thing is. Okay. Unobtainium. It didn't melt completely. It, you can see the marking on the back, yellow and... It's so, not uh, toxic to the skin, is it? No, <laughs> no. So we'll, we'll save that. That's about $10 worth of gallium there. Okay, shooting at the big block. Aluminum engine. <laughs> okay, hit it. Oh my. Little zing. I was aiming right here in, at the shiny mark that you scratched okay. off for us. So we hit over here. At least here. you hit it. We get over to the right, and that thing, that lightweight little old slug. So we'll see if the gallium will start attacking that. Now this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. You've seen uh, 22 Plinkster split bullets on a knife. Have you ever seen a bullet just split in midair like that? So this one did break apart. Uh, luckily it happened very close to the engine, and both pieces hit. But that was just beyond strange. Let's see you do that, 22 Plankster. <laughs> okay, now we'll try the aluminum pellet with the gallium in it. We gotta hurry before it starts melting. Once again at the big block. Woo! Well, I don't know. Woo! Well, I don't know, I didn't know. I, I, I saw something hit the... Hit it? case. So we hit just slightly high. I was aiming for here. 
That was a really light slug, though. Hit here. Hit, uh, probably about 10 grams. I think it hit right here. Like it it broke it. off that. See all the splatter here, the silver? There's a silver, there's a couple drops on the ground on there, but. The aluminum pellet with the gallium in it didn't weigh a whole lot, maybe about 10 grams at the most. So it didn't pack a lot of energy. It did fly very accurately though. And as I've said before, the very lightweight rounds tend to fly a little bit higher than normal. Not very much of a drop. But look at the splash of the gallium shooting outwards about five or six feet. Very impressive. I heard a smack down there. I'm surprised that much stayed in there. You know, I didn't just splatter out. Yeah. That's crazy. And it was accurate too. Very close to the center. It's better than the Brennicky slugs. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking gallium slug. Bring it back. Memories of the Terminator. Yeah. Not a pretty good depth. You know, it's only a 24 yeah. gram slug, so. Didn't burrow in there like normal. Unlike our normal hits, though, nice, perfectly round and smooth. Normally mm -hmm. they burrow in there with a lot of violence. Right. This is this looks like a golf ball plugged into that thing. Yeah. And once again, we have the solid gallium slug. And we see something kind of interesting that we've seen before when we shoot at this solid lead plate. We'll see a nice bright flash. And really that happens in just like one camera frame. You don't really see it happening on these other slow motion shots. And I believe that's kind of like tannerite where it's the aluminum oxide on the surface of the plate is detonating. Now the gallium slug pretty much disintegrated on this one. Wow. Boy, I almost uh -oh. that in the water. Yeah. This is like the new Samsung <laughs> 7. Explodes <laughs> in your ear. Well, only it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> Can you get out of there now? Well, I'll give it a try. If not, I'll, I'll set up shop I'll, and see you next I'll week. tell your wife where you're at. Yeah. So. <laughs> Silver splatter. A little bit of a cross right there, too. Yeah. That. Just like the. That's what the the slug did when it hit the brake rotor, yeah. brake part. That's a rotator and a spinner. Yeah. Per uh, Napa Auto Parts. Okay. Lots of silvering there, liquidified when it hit. Should be hopefully look cool on video. And we'll see if it starts uh, corrupting that. It starts uh, contaminating it. Now this is a section of aluminum heat sink from a variable frequency drive. This is the same heat sink that I used in my previous video where the gallium uh, crept into the, you know, the matrix of the aluminum and ate it up. So we'll be able to see if hitting this thing with a big old 24 gram slug made out of gallium will have that same effect. Ballistic gel gummy bears. Clear ballistics, hit it! I actually had a total of about nine slugs to shoot. I was anticipating a lot of failures, so I made some extras, but since they were working out so well, it gave us a broader variety of things to shoot at. And these are not candy gummy bears, they're the same size as a five pound gummy bear but this is made out of ballistic jelly. And of course, ballistic gelatin is a perfect representation of a mythical animal made completely out of a rubberized jelly. But it is fun to shoot at and watch these things flip flop and stretch around. This is something we don't normally see here, it is a big giant cavity in a gummy bear. Normally it closes up nice and tight around. Yep, just a it's probably silver. Yeah, there's little silvery specks in there. These guys took a little debris, and one thing you might be able to see here is a little star pattern of. Oh, look at all that gallium in there. Yeah, there it is. There's your slug. Was that that was the second one, right? I believe this might be. Yeah, but this would have to be the second one because I think it just pushed these guys over. Yeah. Wow. That would be an ugly wound. Uh... Boy. All right. So just like tea and outdoors, I split this gel and we got uh, 
you can see the gallium. More pieces of it. And then you might be able to see down here a couple of little uh, streaks. Little or streaks whatever. coming through or little little pieces. It's just shattered though. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Made a mark. Okay, we'll shoot another pellet one. Going for the face, you say? I'm gonna try for the nose on that bear. Okay, anytime you're ready. There it is. That's nuts. Still got How did it survive that? Did it? The aluminum is 100% intact. The gallium's been squished around. Oh. I aimed for the nose and we got that guy right in the oh. right, right between the running lights. Look at that. You did hit him and they, they didn't move around that much. Uh, Schindler's List style, we also got the guy in the back. The air rifle pellet shape is a very good shape for a shotgun slug. It's worked out very well, what you call it the Diabolo shape. Here we see it kind of wobbling around. It's kind of like a hula dancer with a hot foot. It's still very accurate though, and it kind of reminds me of how the, the rail gun projectile goes downrange. It kind of wobbles around like that. Honestly, I thought this lightweight slug would only go into uh, one gummy bearer and get stuck in the second, but it made it w its way all the way through all four of those gummy bears. Okay, pellet shape at propane cylinder. Anytime you're ready. Whoa! It's been like a top. <laughs> Lost all its gallium in the center. I remember the last time I lost my gallium. <laughs> I don't know if your, viewers, night. if your viewers can smell that, but boy, that is propane. smell vision Look. Oh, that might be the gallium dislodged and hit, did that damage. Who knows? You decide. Another good shot with Daniel's Diablo slug. The slug managed to go right through both sides of the propane tank, and it, it took off like a, I don't know, a helicopter. Now, of course, we didn't have any fire or any source of fire because I heard there was a police officer in that area. But still, it's, it's pretty neat seeing a liquid flash almost instantaneously into a vapor like that. So whatever happened to the aluminum objects and the lead object that we shot? Well, the engine never did anything. We didn't start corroding or anything like that. The lead plate pretty much looked the same after, this is after 24 hours, you know? And the heat sink, really nothing. So apparently we didn't deposit enough gallium on there to really cause that reaction, unfortunately. But hey, have you ever seen a slug just split and apart in the air. I think that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.